Hello everyone, welcome back to Oceanography. In the previous session, we were discussing on the major currents of Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. And today, we are going to look into the currents and the features of Indian Ocean. We all know well that Indian Ocean is just half an ocean because it does not extend beyond the Tropic of Cancer in Northern Hemisphere. The ocean is locked by India in the north, Australia in the east and Africa to the west. Thus, the shape and size of Indian Ocean is entirely different from those of Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. And hence, Indian Ocean has unique feature regarding the flow of its ocean currents. The currents of northern portion of Indian Ocean is entirely different from the general circulation pattern of oceans. They change their direction according to the seasonal rhythm of the monsoon wind. There is a clear reversal of ocean currents in the northern part of the ocean during the summer and the winter season. Let's look into the currents of the northern part of Indian Ocean during the winter season. During the winter season, the North Equatorial Current is influenced by the Northeast Monsoon and hence the water starts moving from east to west direction. This is known as Northeast Monsoon Drift. This drift starts from the Strait of Malacca and enters Arabian Sea after flowing the coast of Bay of Bengal. Near the Persian Gulf, the currents will take a southern course and joins with the counter equatorial current. The counter equatorial current will start moving from the New Zanzibar region towards the Malaysian coast. Thus, the currents of the northern part of Indian Ocean during the winter season has an anti-clockwise movement. During the summer season, there is high influence of southwest monsoon and hence the north equatorial current is influenced by the southwest monsoon and flows from west to east and is termed as southwest monsoon drift. These will originate near the eastern coast of Africa and moves along the coast of Arabian Sea to reach Bay of Bengal. It should be noted that there is no counter equatorial current at this time of the year. Thus, the circulation of water in the northern Indian Ocean during the summer season has a clockwise direction. The currents of the South Indian Ocean is similar to those of Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. The South Equatorial Current will start flowing from a little south of the equator from east to west direction parallel to the equator. On reaching the Madagascar island, the south equatorial current gets divided into two branches. One branch flows towards the south along the coast of east of Madagascar and this is termed as Madagascar current. The another branch enters into the channel of Mozambique and flows through that region and is termed as Mozambique current. Both this Mozambique and Madagascar current joins towards the south of Madagascar island and the combined flow of these currents will move further southwards as Agulhas current. These currents will get moved towards the south till it gets under the influence of west wind drift. The west wind drift moves from the west to east in the southern part of the south of Indian Ocean. It is a cold current since it is getting influenced under the westerlies and due to the rotation of the earth. Upon reaching the south west coast of Australia, the currents will get drifted towards the north as a result of the Coriolis force and due to the shape of the coastline 
and these cold currents will move along through the west coast of Australia and this is termed as West Australian current and these currents will move along the coast of Australia till it joins with the south equatorial current and completes the gyre system of the southern Indian Ocean. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. For any doubts or your queries, please post it in the comment box or in the Edmodo. I wish you a great day ahead. Thank you everyone.